Nintendo, Sega, why? Okay, so in case you haven't heard, all right, so in case you haven't heard, we are getting a ton of news in the gaming sphere tomorrow. We're getting a Nintendo Direct, we're getting an Indie World Showcase, and we're getting the first trailer for the third Sonic the Hedgehog film. So starting with Nintendo, we are getting both a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase and an Indie World Showcase. Both of these are Nintendo's smaller presentations, one of course focusing more on indie games, and the other one focusing on their third party and smaller games. So, don't expect to see anything huge tomorrow, we already know the games we're getting this year from our Summer Direct, so we're not going to get any huge big announcements, but we might get some small stuff from the likes of Capcom, or maybe Sega, along with on the indie side we're going to see a lot of cool up and coming indie games from small studios and hopefully maybe some bigger studios as well. I know a lot of times people see the partner showcases, they're not as excited, which I understand, but it gives a great spotlight to some games that if they were in a normal direct, we probably wouldn't focus as much. And the same goes to the indie worlds. Indie worlds is where I have found so many indie games that I would have never heard of, especially they were smashed in the middle of a new Mario and Zelda game being announced. As for the partner showcase, I'm expecting us to see a lot of ports coming to the Switch. You know, I know we're getting the Ace Attorney collection coming soon. We have Sonic X Shadow Generations on the horizon. And a lot of more stuff like that. I'm not expecting no big releases coming, no brand new games outside maybe one or two smaller games coming to the Switch. As for the indie world, obviously there's the, the big one. Hollow Knight Silk Song, which I am not expecting. I know a lot of people are excited to see what Team Cherry has coming up next in the Hol Hollow Knight franchise. I just don't expect anything coming from them with it being an Xbox Studios game. I feel like Xbox knows the hype of that game and they want that announcement. So I really wouldn't expect that here at the Indie World Showcase. Outside of that, I don't really have any specific predictions, but... The indie world's always so much fun to watch. You can see so many beautiful independent games. So I'm sure we're going to get some great games coming out of that showcase. And now for the news we've all been waiting for. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the feature length film is finally, finally getting a trailer. At least one's been announced. So Paramount's been doing all sorts of posts and teasing these past few days. You know, some billboards have been going up, some projections of, like, Sonic, Shadow, and Eggman. But finally, Paramount Pictures released a tweet today saying, It's official. Something big is coming tomorrow. Hashtag Sonic Movie. And then they also posted this Instagram reel along with that. And in that reel, we see the same projections we've seen throughout a lot of cities recently, saying, Tomorrow, followed by the number three in Sonic, Shadow, and Eggman's face. As for what I'm expecting for the movie, of course we're going to get this guy here, the ultimate life form, Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm hoping we get to see some lines from him, we get to see a lot of, um, so hopefully a fight scene or two between him and Sonic and the gang. Um, I, I just want to see more of him, I think everyone's on that, that Shadow High right now, and we want to see more of this little guy in that trailer. And of course, outside of Shadow, I do want to see more Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Hopefully some more of Tom and Maddie, some of the other human characters. We didn't get to see a lot of them in the Knuckles TV show, since I was more focused on um, Knuckles, of course. But what we did get to see Sonic and Tails there was awesome. And of course, since it is Sonic the Hedgehog 3, not Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic will still remain as the main character in this film. So we'll see where his character is going to go coming off of the second movie. Hopefully now seeing him taking his role as the Guardian of the Emeralds a bit more seriously. As we saw in the second movie, he was a lot more jokey and messing around with his abilities. Um, but I think the Thorn movie, we're going to see him take this new thread of Shadow a lot more seriously. And of course, I have to bring up Jim Carrey's Robotnik. We've heard all sorts of different leaks and rumors about what he's going to be doing in this film. Um, and we all know no matter what, though, is Jim Carrey... His Robotnik character has been one of my favorite roles to see from him, both as a fan of Jim Carrey and a fan of Eggman. And whatever they're going to do with him, it's going to be fantastic. I'm hoping we get to see him team up with Shadow. Um, there's been some rumors saying that it's going to be a Robotnik and Sonic team up going against Shadow. But that inner Sonic Adventure 2 fan of me wants to see him team up with Shadow, maybe discover the Space Colony arc, and kind of get a loose adaptation of Sonic Adventure 2. 
but that might be getting my hopes up a little too much. Because as much as I would love to see SA2 adaptation, the movies have done so much with their own original material, making their own lore around these characters that we love so much. And I'm fine with them just grabbing Shadow, grabbing off his character and lore, and just going in a completely new direction with it. Show us what this team could do with this part of the Sonic universe. Anyhow, that's all I've got for today, but please let me know, what do you think about us getting a Nintendo Direct, an indie showcase, and a third Sonic movie trailer tomorrow? Tons of news, I will be covering it all here tomorrow on this channel, so subscribe if you're not already, and let me know in the comment section below, what are you the most excited for from the Nintendo Direct, from the indie world, and of course, from the Sonic Movie 3 trailer. Thank you all so very much for watching, I hope you all enjoy as always, please take care of yourselves. Drink some water. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.